Hey guys, so today what we're gonna do is we're going to try to recreate this Rams logo on his head. Okay, so first thing that I like to do when I'm recreating a picture is look for a strong focal point. In this case, the Ram has a strong focal point and it's the horn, the Ram's horn. It's the biggest, most noticeable feature in the picture. So we're gonna go for the horn first. We're gonna start where the horn's at and we're gonna build around that. After the horn, I go. I like to outline everything else. I like to create an outline. That way I can get a, a nice visual of the whole shape of the design. Then I come in and I, you know, I retouch everything up. I make sure everything's touched up. And then of course, you know, work on that focal point. Make sure that focal point looks the way it should because that's gonna be, that's basically gonna measure your whole design. Once you feel comfortable with your focal point, which is a horn. I have, I feel like I have a good dimension here. I feel like it's balanced. I mean, it's not perfect and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna touch up after. Once I feel comfortable with it, I start going for the rest of the design, for the rest of the outline. You know, right now I'm doing, you know, the big parts, the neck, the back, the top side, just so I can get a good dimension of how this is gonna look. Because you need to, you need to make sure it fits in the head. Because if it doesn't fit, uh, well, you know what's gonna happen if it doesn't fit. So now we go back, we retouch everything up, clean it, clean it up, make sure like okay, it's looking, it's looking the way I want it to look. Maybe touch up a couple spots here and there, you know. Get the right dimension on that horn, because remember the most important part of this design is going to be the horn. The horn is a priority the rest you know it's yeah it, it matters also but it's not as important as that horn that horn is going to be what everybody gravitates to you know the the human eye will always look for a focal point now right here i'm doing the eye there's a very um very precise work you gotta have you gotta have a a tool that can get into these corners i prefer this tool right here this gold fx it has, um, they call it the skeleton body, so you're able to have more uh, room on the on the top of the trimmers, on the blades, just because it's not as bulky. And they can get into these tight little spaces. You see how I'm getting into these tight little spaces? There we go. Now we got a, now we got a solid outline. You can see exactly, you know, what it's going to look like. After we got a good outline, you know, you always gotta go touch up all the little corners, make sure everything looks okay. Get all the dimensions proper. You know, go back and look at the original picture just to make sure everything's right. And they should be good. Now we're gonna go into a couple more phases. We're gonna fade it out. We're gonna add some color at the end too, so uh, stay tuned. Right now we're just gonna fade it out, you know. don't And, and when you fade this out, don't go don't go into the design. Always keep always outline it first because you don't you don't know how it's gonna look. You don't wanna you want you don't wanna cut more hair than you should. You know, and then just continue to blend. Blending the design will always give it more of a pop. It would always make it a it give it it'll give it another dimension, almost a 3D dimension. Now we're going into the shaving part of it. I advise you guys get one of your uh, more comfortable razors. Right now I'm using our signature Barber Club razor. I like this one, it's heavy in the front, light in the back, and it allows me to get into the corners with ease. Outline as much as you can, outline everything. Anything that's shaved, anything that's light, that's you know skin colored, you outline it as much as you can, whatever you can. Get into whatever corner you can. Shaving the design creates a lot of detail and detail is what most people look at and it separates the professional from the average. So there you have it, wipe it down. Um, on this particular design, I did enhance it with color. Uh, we weren't able to get the footage on here, but this is what it looks after. The next video, we will show you guys how to enhance a design, make sure it pops even more than it already does. And this is the final result. And there you have it. It's the LA Rams logo. Thank you for watching. Follow us. Turn on post notifications just so you guys can know when we're posting. Stay tuned for our next video. See you guys later.